Make sure you come see me every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday for some real content. <laughs> Just saying. Because half the stuff that be out there be old, reused, and born. But I'm just saying, you want something new? Make sure you share it so other people like you can see it too. Oh yeah, y'all don't learn, but we got bars. Police behind me, you know that I'm smashing. I ain't fooling over you trip. What's up, subbies? You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. Who is your girl, Marie, with two E's, baby? Alright, y'all. Y'all already know what I'm bringing to you by the title of this video. But before we get into it, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow your girl on all social media. And don't forget, ring that bell one time for one time. Alright, you guys want to see how I made my seafood? Then go ahead and click one of these sides. Because I'm going to pop it up for you. Got you, sir. Or bro. <laughs> y'all, I'm about to go in. I've been thinking about the seafood all day. Your girl got the sauce on deck and it's hot. Steaming. And I got my crabs, my king shrimp. Y'all, my first time eating king shrimp. Y'all ready? So, I put on my Instagram. I put on my Instagram, which I wanted me to talk about. While I do this mukbang. Mmm. Y'all, I love seafood. I love me seafood. Mmm. The trick to seafood is you gotta make sure that sauce right. If that's all they are, you ain't living, baby. You is not living. Mmm. 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 Alright, so, I asked Instagram. What should we talk about? Let's see what y'all say. If you don't know, I'm always asking for your input on my Instagram. That's why I be asking or telling y'all to follow me because how else would I know what to give you if you don't tell me what's up? So, let's see if anybody voted. Oh, girl talk. Okay, so... Girl talk. So, I guess we can touch on boys. Like, y'all, this sauce is so good. We're gonna talk about boys. So, my kind of boy that I like. It's a real chill, laid back kind of dude. I really ain't trying to be in a relationship right now. Because relationship comes stressed and it becomes very like. It's a responsibility. Um, I already got no responsibility. So, that ain't nothing I'm trying to be on right now. But eventually, you know. I'm going to want a relationship, but I've been in a relationship back to back for so long because I I haven't been in any relationship that hasn't been longer than like two years. Oh, uh, oh, it's juicy. Mmm, yeah, yeah, juice is out. So when I'm in a relationship, I prefer a long term relationship. I mean, I have my moments where I be like, I ain't on that. Let's just hang out. But I've never like not been in a committed relationship. Even as like side pieces, friends with benefits. There's rules and regulations to this shit. Cause some things you just not gonna do. And I don't tolerate disrespect. So you gotta make sure the juice is getting all the places. Other, other seafood. Mm. My first time eating king shrimp. Oh, uh, shit, oh, go well. Um, you okay? Um, you gotta kind of like 
Know what you want when you get into a relationship. Because a man will change for the woman that they want. I've learned that from experience. I'm going to give an example. So I had this dude that I was dating. I wasn't in love with, well, I wasn't in love. It was more so of like, nobody going to have you kind of thing. It was kind of like a, a possessive. It was very, our relationship was very possessive because it was possessive on both sides. So, I didn't want to see him with nobody else. He didn't like me to be with nobody else, but you ain't gonna tell me what I can and cannot do. I mean, we would fight about it. Like, we would just fight about it. So, after, long story short, after, you know, we decided to make things work or, you know, let's see where this goes. Let's really like put our all into it. But I know that fool had a whole girlfriend. But what bothered me at the time and what like, I guess hurt me in a sense was that everything that I was arguing with you about, everything that I was like trying to get you to do, everything that I was trying to get you to understand about a relationship, you was giving it to that newbie. And the one ain't cute, bro. Bro, I'm not a hater. Really don't give a fuck about that relationship. But she was not cute. Have y'all seen me? So, that was my experience and firsthand of like, you wasn't giving me what I wanted because you chose not to. And that's how men are. If you allow it, they're gonna do it. And continuously, it wasn't nothing to you. And continuously do it. So, you have to go into a relationship knowing what you want and making your demands. Like, yeah, you're going to turn away a lot of dudes, but that means he wasn't a dude for you. Because the dude that's for you, he's going to ride for you, and he's going to be like, you know what? She told me I got to tighten up. She told me she need more income coming in. Let me figure out what I'm going to do. Let me make some shit happen. That's a man. So, you just got to know what you want. And I think that plays a role into, like, dating too early. Hey, cut it out. Cut it out. Dating too early or starting too soon plays a big role. Because how are you going to tell somebody what you want when you don't even know who you are? Like, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or nothing, but I'm just saying... I had to go through this my damn self. Like, I had to try to figure it out on my own. Like, what do I want? Are you really what I like? And don't get me wrong, ladies, you know, the only way you can find out what you like and what you don't like is if you do what dudes claim they hate women to do. And that's hoe around. I don't necessarily call it hoeing around. I call it exploring. Because if dudes can do So. You have to. I don't understand the purpose of why men say. Women. Hoe around or you a hoe or this that and third. I don't call it hoeing. I call it exploring. If you can date multiple women. Why can't I date multiple men? And just because I'm dating somebody. Does not mean we're sexually active. Or doing something sexual. It just mean he stood out to me out of the rest, and I want to see what's up. I want to see what he about. Is he going to tell me one thing and do something else? Is he going to lie to me about some petty junk, and we ain't even in a relationship? You got to try this stuff out before you fully commit to something, because once you fully commit, you're not going to just want to walk away. No woman is just going to want to walk away. I'm telling you, because I've been there, done that. It's hard. But... You gotta do what's right for you. So, make your demands. Get out there. Try it all, girl. Big, tall, little, skinny. Circumcised, uncircumcised. <laughs> the only way you're gonna know what's up is if you get out there. Put yourself out there. Be open to Caucasian people. 
Caucasian. Caucasian people, black people, Asians, you never know. Everybody got their good and everybody got their bad. You just gotta understand and know what's a deal breaker to you. Like a deal breaker for me would be my child. If my child can't gel well with you or it's an uneasy feeling that I notice about my child, it ain't enough we gotta discuss. If my child got an uneasy feeling, you disappear. Block, I'm not on you, no explanation. I'm not gonna tell you why we didn't work. I'm not gonna tell you what. I'm not gonna tell you nothing, I'm not obligated to you. We're dating, we're dating. We're dating. And you also need to understand the difference between dating and being in a relationship. Like I said, dating is trial and error. You Oh, you give me a free dinner? Can't pass up a free meal? I'm a big girl. I love to eat. Jose finna buy me dinner, then we going to Mexican tomorrow. And if Joshua buy me seafood, then we going to seafood on Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm finna pass up no food. Cause you think I'm going around? How you feel about me really don't matter. It don't. Because I know my body count. And I can count it on one hand. Okay. Just saying. So. Oh. That seasoning was spicy. Gosh. So. You gotta know what you want. You gotta know what you want. Because I got a friend that's really trying to pursue me on like future. And. I'm not in a hurry to rush back into it. And it's not that it's him. It's me. I'm holding this back. But I want to make sure that this is what I want. Because if you're already talking about marriage, and we've already kind of sort of dated, but we've, we've already dated, you know, it seems right that marriage would be our next step because we've already dated, we've already lived together, we've already did trial and error. I know you better than anybody else. You know me pretty well too. So it's like marriage would be the conscious next step, but... It's not that I don't think I'm marriage material. I just don't know if marriage is for me. And I have my reasons. I do. Um, I don't know. I just feel like if we're in love, why do we need a piece of paper to say we in love? When you know what you got, you really don't need nobody to validate who you are, what you got. Um, I don't know. That's just me. He has been trying to change my outlook on marriage for a couple years now. But, I don't know. Child, I don't know. Forever? Forever, ever? That's a long time. That's a long time. Um, I don't know about that one. But, I mean, we still communicate. He always checking on me. He always making sure I'm good. If I need anything, I can go to him. Like he's reliable. Um, yes, we are at times. <laughs> but it's me. Marie don't know what she wants to share. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm only 24. I'll be 25 this year, y'all. I got time to get it together. I feel like your 20s is when you're supposed to be selfish. When you're supposed to not care about what other people think. Like, you want to be a stripper, girl? Go be the best stripper you know how to be. Like, who gives a fuck? When people stop caring about what other people think, your life will be easier. Y'all, this sauce so good. I want to just drink it. That's some fat girl shit. For real, for real. Mm. I ain't really even eating my crab because it's a crab. That king shrimp so good, y'all. That is good. Mm. <laughs> well, figure out what you want. Figure out what you want. Find a hobby. 
Find something to express yourself. YouTube is my hobby. I tell y'all love me enough to let your girl make some money. <laughs> but YouTube is my hobby for right now. And I enjoy doing it. Something that I can do. My ideas. On my time. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all know it's good when the juice dripping out. Mmm. So. Yeah, find a hobby. Do some self love. That's a great person to start loving first. If you don't love yourself, who the hell won't love you? Can I get an amen? Y'all, I watch too much RuPaul. I love RuPaul. That's my show. I'm talking about self confidence. Those men be bad. I want my confidence to be like that one day. Or I could just walk out the house and what would I want to wear that day? I have confidence, but when it comes to like clothing, you know you got that baby pouch right above your vagina. Why would I put myself in a two piece? No, ma'am. Mm mm. Mm mm. I see girls that are bigger than me, they will do it. But I need that damn confident. I could not have my little pouch just hanging like that. Like, it's not cute. No, ma'am. You knew that shit didn't fit when you left the house? I can't. I like to talk fellow shit. And I do not want to be the person that I talk, that get, that people talk shit about. That ain't how that work. I like to talk shit about other people. So, I prefer to wear stuff that fit. Accents my body, you know, made me look good, not like, ugh. you know, you be seeing them girls. Anybody be summertime, y'all? Everybody gonna be half naked, knowing good and well, they body shape is not that. Um, you're supposed to do better. Do better now, just because they're hot, don't mean I want to see you naked. No, ma'am. Think about other people. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Wear what y'all want to wear. Do what y'all want to do. You only got one life. Live it up, boo. Woo. All right, y'all. I'm about almost done with this seafood. And my battery's going to die. So, hope you enjoyed my first mukbang. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the girl on all social media. And don't forget, ring that bell one time for the one time. You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. It's your girl, Marie, with two E's, baby. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure you come see me every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday for some real content. <laughs> Just saying. Because half the stuff that be out there be old, reused, and born but I'm just saying, you want something new? Make sure you share it so other people like you can see it too. Oh yeah, y'all don't learn, Marie got bars. <laughs> Marie got bars. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Peace. Police behind me, you know that I'm smashing. I ain't pulling over, you tripping.